Hey guys, Ben Taylor here and welcome to today's episode. Now recently, Photoshop actions have become very, very popular and this is for good reason because they enable you to speed up your work in Photoshop. They're very useful for beginners and also people who have time constraints. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install them into Photoshop and even better, I'm going to give you guys a free action which you can use for your photos at any time. Without further ado, let's jump into today's tutorial and get started. So I understand that some people watching this right now may have never heard of a Photoshop action. And if that's the case, let me explain it to you. If you were to edit a photo in Photoshop, you would take your photo, you would drag or drop it in Photoshop, and then you go through some different steps to edit it. Say if you were to color an image, you'd drag your image into Photoshop, you create a duplicate layer, and then you'd use an adjustment layer like color balance or use saturation. A Photoshop action takes the steps for you. Basically, someone will record these steps when they do it and then they'll put it into an action. So this means that you can then open the action on your computer and then it will give you the end result because the steps have been recorded to get to that point. Now hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, don't you worry because I'm gonna go through this now, show you how to install it, and then I'm gonna show you how we can use an action in Photoshop that I'm gonna give you in today's tutorial. And this should all really make sense and you should feel comfortable with it by the end of the tutorial. Let's jump in and get started. So this is the image that we're gonna be working with today. As always, you can download this in the description area on YouTube. Now, let's get into the important stuff. How do we go about installing an action? It's so simple, as you're gonna see in a minute. All you need to do first is go up to window at the top here, click on that, and then come down to actions. Hit actions, and then you're gonna have this box which opens, and this will have all the actions that you've got in at the moment. So Photoshop will have some actions which is already got built in. So you'll be able to have a little mess around with them as well if you want to. Okay, so now we have this box open. We need to then find an action on our computer which we can add into this part of Photoshop. And that means it's gonna be saved here so that we can use it whenever we need it. Now you may have remembered at the start I said to you that I've included a free action for you guys to download. So, if you want to do that now, if you want to go ahead and download that from YouTube, you can just go in the description, double click on that and download it onto your computer. When you've downloaded it onto your computer, all you need to do is go onto the relevant area you've downloaded it. So for instance, I'm going to come along to my area where it's downloaded on my computer, here, and then all you have to do is double click the action. So find where it is on your computer and double click it and then you'll see that it pops up here in the actions box. It's that simple. All you've got to do is have your action box open, find it on your computer where you downloaded it, double click it, and then it will appear in your actions box. Now you can see here I've got sharpen and sharpen one, and that's because the free action is a sharpen action. And I thought this would be really useful for everyone because at any time you are photo editing, you're going to need at some point throughout the process to do some sharpening. So I thought this would be a really useful one for you guys to have when you're using it. Okay, so this here is the folder and then inside the folder is the action. Now if you click on it, to make this action come to life, you need to make sure it's clicked here, highlighted, and then press on the play button. And as soon as I pressed on that, it's gonna come up with a message. It says choose radius, and then in brackets, how much sharpening you want to add. Now the reason it's coming up with this message is because I've added this in the action itself. This is going to enable you to add or decrease the amount of sharpening manually so that it's not chosen for you. So if you go ahead and click continue, then it's going to come up with this box here, which is a high pass box. Now this has got a slider here, which is called a radius slider. And what this means is it means you can push the slider up 
to increase the sharpening or you can pull it down to decrease it. So let's just zoom in. So I'm going to zoom into this amazing picture here. Now this picture was taken by someone called David Coldy and he was found on something called Unsplash. Now if you've never heard of this before, this is great guys. If you're looking for images and photos to edit and say you don't take that many photos yourself, then if you go onto a website called Unsplash, you can go on there and download photos which photographers have added and they enabled you to use them free. So you can edit these photos free. All I'll say is just give these guys a shout out if you're using their images because you know they're doing this completely free out of the kindness of their own heart. So that's why I'm giving a shout out to David Coldy, which you can find on Unsplash, and this beautiful macro image was taken by him. So thanks David for letting me use this image. Okay, so now we zoomed into the image, all we need to do is use the radius slider and watch what happens. I'm gonna push up the radius and you'll see that this will add sharpening into the image. You can see all the extra sharpening here around the face. So just by moving this radius slider around in the action I've created, you can change how much you want or how little you want. And that's really, really important because you don't want this set for you because all different images are gonna need different amounts of sharpening. And when you've done that, just click OK. And that's how simple it is. It's literally that simple. All you've got to do is download the action onto your computer, make sure you've opened up the actions box in Photoshop, and then you can simply double click on it and it will open up in Photoshop. Then finally, hit the play button and this will play the action and enable you to then use it on your picture. So I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's come along today and watched the video and hopefully you found it helpful and most of all useful. Now I'm really passionate about getting out to everyone and then spreading this message about how to learn Photoshop and Lightroom. But unfortunately it's quite difficult because the only way to get out to more people is by people watching the videos more and also by people sharing the content. So if you get a little bit of free time or just a little minute here, a minute there, it would mean the world to me if you could share this to people and then also watch more of the videos to learn more about Photoshop and then that way it's a knock on effect and then the channels grow. And then this means I can get out to more people and then increase people's learning about this amazing program. Whatever you do today, guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I hope to see you back here again really soon.